So greetings to all and uh, this is Saran Nest and Professor of English, P.H. Anderson College. And in today's session, we are just going to discuss something about transformation of sentences. So what is the transformation of sentences? First of all, what is transformation? Transformation is nothing but it's a change, isn't it? So here we are just going to check out how a sentence in a particular form is a transfer to another sentence structure without any change in its meaning. So before entering into the topic, I'll just uh, ha I want you to have a glance at uh, basic sentence structures in English. We all know that we have a simple sentence uh, followed by complex sentence and compound sentence. And uh, how will we know that particular sentence is a simple sentence? A uh, simple sentence has one independent class or main class followed by complex sentence. F complex sentence has one uh, main class and uh, one or more subordinate class or dependent class and compound sentence compound sentence has more than one independent class isn't it so i just uh, pointed out some of the examples also you just have a glance at it also let's have a glance at the keywords of a simple compound and the complex uh, sentence structure so here i just pointed out several keywords for simple compound and complex sentences and you can just have a glance of it so after having a glance at several keywords and uh, several sentence structures, uh, basic sentence structures in English in the previous slides, let me teach you how the sentence gets transferred from one form to another form without any change in its meaning. So for that, I'm just going to teach you several rules. Just uh, follow the rules which I'm just going to deal with you. Now look at the first one. So if the sentence, if the simple sentence has present participle form at the beginning of it, then it is converted or it is transferred into complex sentence by using, by using uh, several subordinating conjunctions like when or as or since. Likewise, it is uh, converted into compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunction and. So look at the example. Standing on the roof, he watched a river. So this simple sentence, it has present participle form at the beginning of its sentence and see how it is converted into complex. So while converting into complex, we are using the subordinating conjunctions like uh, when or as or since. So when he stood on the roof, he watched a river. Likewise, while converting into compound sentence, we are using the coordinating conjunction and. He stood on the roof and watched a river. So now if you just look into the second rule. So if the simple sentence starts with by plus present participle form of the verb in it, then the simple sentence can be converted into complex and compound by using several conjunctions. Like uh, if you want to convert the simple, this, uh, this type of simple sentence into complex, we can use uh, such like uh, subordinating conjunctions like when or as or since. Also, you can use another subordinating conjunction if, but that if statement should be in affirmative type, not in a negative statement. Okay. Also, this, simple, this type of simple sentence can be converted into compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunction and. So look at the example. By earning money, you will live better. So this type of simple sentence can be converted into complex by using the subordinating conjunction if or when or as or since. So look at the example. If you earn money, you will live better. Likewise, if it is converted into compound, then it can be used then it can be converted by using the coordinating conjunction and look at the example earn money and live better so these three sentences it has been converted into another form without any change in its meaning isn't it now if you just look into the third rule in the third rule the simple sentence it starts with without plus present participle form of the verb uh, so if the sentence, if the simple sentence starts with without a plus present participle form of the verb, then it is converted into complex sentence with the help of the subordinating conjunction if. But here the if statement should be in the negative form. And uh, once again this uh, simple sentence, it can be converted into compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunction or. Look at the example. So first one, simple. Without taking the risk, you cannot uh, prosper in life, isn't it? Without taking any risk, we cannot uh, prosper in life. So this type of simple sentence can be converted into complex by using the subordinating conjunction if. If you do not take the risk, you cannot prosper in life. 
so here the if statement is in negative form so while using without plus present participle form in the simple sentence we have to convert into complex by using if statement with the negative form or else you can use another subordinate subordinating conjunction that is unless unless you take the risk you cannot uh, prosper in life likewise if you just look into the compound sentence uh, in compound sentence we are using the coordinating conjunction or so take the risk or you cannot prosper in life so now if you look at the fourth rule so if the simple sentence it starts with in spite of or despite it can be converted into complex by using the subordinating conjunction though or although once again it can be converted into co compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunction but look at the example in spite of his illness he sat for the exam so this is a simple form simple sentence structure and this sentence can be converted into complex by using the subordinating conjunction though though he was ill he sat for the exam likewise in the compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunction but he was ill but he sat for the exam so these three sentences it gets transferred from one form to another form without any change in its meaning so with this uh, let me conclude the session and there are still several rules to be discussed and we'll just discuss in the next class thank you